There you go. Plus I'm powerful. Make, make me go really happy. <laughs> right, just close your eyes. T tell us if you can feel it. You should be able to feel it now. Actually. You're actually drawing the energy, so you know it. Yeah. Can you feel it? Yes, that? I can feel it. Yeah, so you're actually pulling it in as well. Uh, obviously, you've been doing healing all the time. So what you could do when you heal, you could channel any energy. Yeah, you don't use earth energy, you can use any. Best one's Andromeda. Let's see, I'll try channel into Andromeda energy and see if we feel it. It's high vibration very quickly. Probably have tingling in your fingers. Yes. I'll do the healing in a bit. I'm just showing up at the moment. I will now, I will connect to my aspect. I'm actually, my aspect's Saint Germain, so I'll connect to him. Violet Flame, the original Violet Flame. You feel the difference? Yeah, I'm getting emotional. My eyes are all flooded. You might need a release. That could be the problem. If you think about it, which chakra is it? It's your throat chakra. Your throat chakra. What's your throat chakra? I, I thought I did a lot of releasing, and then I realized I had a lot more releasing to go. I forgave a lot. Is yeah. there something that's coming to mind? Uh, well, normally when you have a, a lot of times when you have a, a chakra blockage, you have an illness or a problem in that area. Try and tap in to see if it's a past life or a real life or a, a child or what. Again, it's been released in it, but it doesn't matter. I'm getting to speak up for myself. That tends to be the throat chakra, isn't it? and that could be that could be turning into a physical problem. All right, I just what I do as well. I I actually click my hands, and normally it cracks, but you're quite good energy. Your energy is really you haven't got much. You might have a blockage where you haven't got much negativity. You get that? Or I would crack it off. And if it's the hand, it's from that last, last six months. If you, It's a bit like static energy. If it's the elbow, it's five to 10 years. Shoulder, it's about 30 years. So when you're drawing negative energy out of people, you know how long it is by the click. It's a little secret, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> Let's see. So the pain is on you. It's just points to the Left pain. side. Okay. Right. I'm not sure which aspect's going out. Could even be my crystal source being. Checking your 11 chakra blueprint. Just that Whenever feeling. I have pain, it's always on the left side. Yeah, the energy is going in very easily. You actually do need it. So, is it? Like when in hospitals and a lot of people try and help with a problem, but they don't know the original where it's come from. And if you don't get rid of where it's come from, it just comes back, doesn't it? You feel that? 
Yeah, it's kind of tingly in there. It's pulsating. Yeah. Have you had the vaccine or not? By the way. No. Good. You never know. I've known some spiritual people to have vaccines. You'd be shocked at the people I know. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I'm wrong. The reason why I say that, I, uh, my daughter's boyfriend couldn't move his arm. He had the vaccine nine months prior. And when I started uh, working on it, it started pulsing. And then after a few minutes, I got a negative search, surcharge off it. It took me three yards back. It was like an implant from the, I think the vaccine brought in an implant. I don't think it was in there initially, but I think it made the aura weak enough for something to be put in. But I got rid of it. You must feel a lot different there now. Yeah, I, I felt something the side of my head. So like you did something the side of my brain. Yeah. I wonder if it's an implant. Not because I'm talking about implants, it's coming to my mind. And if, if it's the back, back of the neck is the input to psych, to the cut to the uh, light grid, to the consciousness of everyone. And do you have a bad back as well? Low back gets tight, but I work out a lot. Mm -hmm. So today I did about two hours. Um, I try to work out an hour, uh, three or four times a week at least. Yeah, so that's why I've got a bad mark. If you work out today. <laughs> I'm trying to look like when I was 40. <laughs> so did you like me saying that, David, you look great at 52? I messaged him actually. I said, someone says you look really good at 54. And he put an angry face next to me. <laughs> I really wound him up. Actually. But he's only joking. Um, I do tense up at night. Um, I went through a really bad divorce. It was like four years. And then after that was finalized, then he wouldn't work or pay support. And then he was abusive to my adopt to the adopted son, but treated the biological son like a king. So I never knew what he was going to do next. It was horrible. So I got into this pattern of 10, like I wake up and I'm tense. Have you forgiven so I, I need, him? Have I you, have forgiven him. Yeah. Have you forgiven? I, don't, I didn't have, really need the money, anyways. I did it on my own. Have you forgiven yourself? Your choices. You made the choices. Have you forgiven yourself? That's what you've got to do. Yes, I'll work on that. I'll work on that, sounds like, tomorrow. <laughs> okay, I forgive myself. Yeah. Tomorrow never comes, does it? That's, that's why I said that. I forgive everyone. To give me the freedom and the peace that I desire and deserve. And what I want to attract. What you normally do with ones that you break up, it, you, it can become quite nasty. You actually send, when they go, you send them love so nothing, the, the connection gets broke. You send them away with love. That's what you normally do. Yeah. Which can be quite difficult. The brain says, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I, I get it. His mind, his mind works differently than mine. Hmm. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. That's his, his uh, the way that's why he, that's it, isn't it? You can't, free will. How, how's your neck now? You said it was too. It feels didn't good, it? yeah. And then I also, my jaw was tight. That's all released too. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Any more? <laughs> no, that's good. How can I help? Can you reach out to me? How can I help you? I don't know. You work it out. <laughs> huh? You work it out. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I actually, well, I broke my ankle and tore my Achilles in late September, but I've already baffled the doctors because I don't need a shoe because I've already you know, fixed it. Funny enough, my crit and old injuries come out. I I should be in a wheelchair now from 2000. Um, a crochet ligament uh, was really in a bad way. And I, what I did, another teaching here, I put an energy vortex over my ligament and hardened it. So it became a stealth, you know, is it stealth? Where it supported it. And uh, about seven years ago, Anila said, you had weird pins in your knee. So that she took them out <laughs> in pain again. So I had to put them back. But I've, I've just felt a little cringe recently. But I've been doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot of dark energies. So some of the dark energies might have manipulated it. I might have some sort of parasite in my knee, I don't know. Which knee? Left knee, my my left. Okay, uh, but but don't take any pins out. <laughs> no, no. My, made by me. See see how <coughs> see how you got to look round out the box. How many people would have what? thought you got to look out the box sometimes to heal? Oh, and, okay. yeah. The other thing I I like doing, which you would think, wow, why did I like creating entities to heal. Does that sound oh. does that sound weird? No. No. Yeah. No. An entity. So it's like your little helpers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm creating, I'm but I'm creating them. And as long as you have a program, a life and death scenario. So when they die, they go back to source. As long as you use angelic light to give them life. As long as you give them a job, and I, I examples, uh, a slug, a slug creature that eats acid and relieves itself with alkaline. So it eat, if someone's got too much acid, it just takes all the acid away. Someone had a hiatus hernia, and uh, it was a, oh, it's a lovely creature. It was like an horse, but it was spitting skin, and this this was for a medium. And I told her, what well, I'm going to create something really, this is out of the box. And she could feel it. She could actually feel the creature inside. Now, that was a Tuesday when I created it. On the Thursday, they had her in for an operation. They checked, she didn't need the operation. Fixed it. Did it wow. for two days. But it, it was there for about a week or two. I got dead excited when he saw me. I gave him some energy. But then after a couple of weeks, he would have died because he'd done his job. It's a bit sad, really, but uh at the end of the day he's gone back to source so uh, i'm not sure if that's wrong doing that but that's the way life is but at least it's not like the dark ones creating entities for god knows what <laughs> but uh so you you've never heard that one before but <laughs> no no so i I'm, I'm getting to uh ask the fairies to come yeah so a friend of mine yeah. hurt her foot so I told her I would send her healing tonight. So I'll put the bowl on it and stop the inflammation and then send the fairies to go under the bowl. I don't know. Or... Are you yeah, creating under the are you bowl? Creating, yeah, are you creating fairies or are you bringing them in to do the work? I'm going to, I don't know, I'm, they're around and I'm going to send them. Okay, yeah. Uh... What I like to do, how would you do it in a normal, if you went to, to, if you went to the doctors for treatment, what, how, what would you use? They would, they'd use uh, medicines to get the inflammation down, wouldn't they? 
why right. don't you, why don't you channel the essence of the <gasps> yeah yeah okay. did you, you ever see did you ever see the little um arnica remedy the byron no, no. <laughs> Here, hang on let me get it yeah So I used to work for a homeopathic doctor. So it's Arnica. All right. So you can- And it's natural herb. It's a natural herb, Arnica Montana 30C. You can get it on uh, Amazon. And um, I, I'll take a picture of it and send it to you. Does that so get- it's, for, it's getting rid It's for pain and inflammation. So you take two pellets and you put it under your tongue and let it dissolve naturally. So what I would do, I would put a tiny bit in the healing gland, I'd close my eyes, and I'd send the essence of that into a foot. There you go. You're a genius. <laughs> I just, <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah? So that's Your how way I is would. easier. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny how we get programmed, you know? Yeah. I, th I th you know until you learn more. So thank you for this. Yeah, I think sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes I wonder where did that information come from? But I've got, <laughs> I've got that many aspects around me that one of them might have told me, I don't know, because it look, sometimes I don't even know if they're in me, I don't know, because I, I connect with them so many times. I only do four or five, and Raphael is one of them. And uh, I, when I was having healing done, on my at the healing center for my ankle. The bloke said, my God, Raphael came in. I said, yeah, he's my aspect. Of course he's gonna come in, he's gonna fix me. <laughs> she said, I've never had him before, it's weird. So, yeah, it's good. I, kept, I went to Orion once and the same guy said, you had, this is a different time I went to Orion because I've been, been there four or five times. Me and Dave went there once on a, a walk, but I've been, and then we went, we did one where we went in someone's timeline and ended up there again. And then I seemed to bring back stuff. And this time this guy said, you had black, blue, gooey spiders on you. I said, I didn't do a cleanse. Yeah, it was from the Orion. <laughs> so, but yeah, it, the best way is to send the energy there. You can send that energy okay. there. I'm sure that'll do it. You could also, uh, with your mind's eye, you could probably go inside. Can you have you ever gone inside bodies? You ever inside seen, what? I've ever seen. If you close your eyes when you're healing, really ch channel channel into the organ, you can actually see. You can actually see the blood tissue. As long as you're not screaming, you can see the bone, the blood, yeah. and you can see what's going on. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Just something came up. Uh, just trying to think. You so, could, you could channel removing it in like a surgery. You could actually take it out. Could do that, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, just getting confirmation. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I have an idea and I'll just ask the team. And yeah, is this okay? I have a Paradian actually, it works with me as well. It's about nine feet tall, blue. Yeah, so, yeah, it's quite amazing. I have a I have a big team of healers and a big team of warriors. It's like two teams. There. Wow. So, but these 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 healers that have come with me, I am in control. You know how people say you're just a channeler. You're the one who's no. I'm the one who decides what's happening. I'm the main one and yes. these these over the years that's powerful i love uh, that power yeah i exactly. need that masculine power in me <laughs> well over the years i've had spirits come in can can we help you yeah come on that's fine so anyone who works with me in the spirit i've got to ask first and then i i do the okay yeah just the way i work um, but uh, thank you so much yeah yeah so so many sailors don't we you're just a channel of the energy. You're just directing it. No, I'm the healer. <laughs> I've got to channel the energy of what I need for the job. 
like I just said, the essence of that uh, is all sorts of energies. It's so good to experiment though. Yeah. Yeah. It just, I just got another pain. So if it comes back, just put the bowl over it, send the fairies. No, no what you do, there. you said bowl, it's ball of energy. It's like a shield over it. Ball. You, oh. Yeah, you trap oh, it. Ball. You trap it round. Okay. Let, let me give you some more energy. Yeah, I said I'd give you two anyway. Sure. Is this going to be broadcasted or is this your unlisted one? I don't know. It's up to you. If it's ever broadcasted, if anyone's watching, you can. Yeah, yeah I don't care. Yeah, the energy, you'll be given the energy as well. It'll be coming out of here. Okay. Right, okay, let's see. Um, I think I'm actually getting the, it's a past life. Snake bite. Yeah, I was, I've been beat up pretty bad. It's a snake bite. Took hours. Well, that's why I hate, yeah, hmm? and that's why I hate snakes. I hate snakes. Yeah, but you didn't just die instantly. I'm getting you actually an Indian, red Indian, native red Indian. Ooh. You died whilst you were dying. <laughs> whilst you got bit by a snake and you were dying, then you got eaten by some alive. So I can imagine the trauma of that would uh, definitely uh, have some problems. So let's see, let's see what we can do here. I'm going back in that timeline and I am going to give, collect probably a soul fragment because that would break some soul fragments. Let's send it love. Let's bring it back. Connect to your past life. yourself and they'll just say what we're here for you yeah. yes you are going to die but this is just part of life this is your experience oh the energy's going on forgive the snake forgive Everything that got you into that kind of predicament. We had a family. You may have. Thank God. I let your family go.
Right, how do you feel? Oh, yes, it's come out. <sighs> oh, wow. I feel like a new woman. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw, like, not, not nice. I think you were eaten by wolves, actually. Oh. I couldn't stop them. But you, it's a snake. I think the, the, the hours that you were dying, you didn't die instantly. You had a family. I won. You didn't die instantly. You died over a period of time. So that was quite, because you know you're going to die, but you're still awake. And you've got a family and kids, and the, it, it damaged you most emotionally before you died. So that was quite interesting. Yeah. We all die eventually. But uh, forgive, you forgive, uh, forgive the snake. The soul fragment's gone back to your soul. You, you break your soul fragment in these sort of traumas. You, you leave a little tiny bit there. So that's come back. But you feel a lot better now. Yes. Yeah, Thank you so much. A lot better. Thank yeah. you. When, when We're so I, grateful. Yeah, when I actually said, describe the life, did you feel it? Feel it inside. Decide, describe the what? When, when I said about the snake, how you died in this past life, did you feel it? Did, did you feel it inside you now? The snake inside me? No. When the snake, when I said the snake killed your past your, your aspects in the past life, did you feel it emotionally? Or just physically? Or did the pain just go? The pain just went. Oh, okay. It's like it wanted some. It's like maybe it I could, I could re, recreate that and just let that soul die. Yeah. And then come back to me. Well, well, no, it, well what happens is when you have a bad trauma in the past life, your soul still goes back to your old soul, but part of it is left behind, and the residue from that needs to be released yeah which i think we've done i think that's actually done okay. but uh the other thing if, if you have you seen that have i mentioned this i'm getting old i think i've uh, mentioned about the stars green stars and you look at this figure of seven on my facebook yeah that's mm. that that clears so much negativity if you ever feel negativity if you look at that Better than Violet Flame okay. by miles. I woke up to okay. that. Source gave me when I woke up for an hour. So I had green stars in the head with a seven pointed star. It was quite amazing, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's probably it. on your it's probably on your Facebook page. I'll look that up. Yeah. There's quite a lot of information on there. It's like uh, what you can do as well to lift your vibration or do really. You can create your own grid so you get a symbol. If you get the flower symbol, which I've got one over there, put crystals in a circle, but always relate them to the vibrate, you know, very similar. You can't have like a root chakra one and then a third eye one. It's got to be quite, and then what you can do, put your hands over it and activate it, which is quite interesting. And then stick it under your bed or stick it next to your bed or something. Like yeah, and then okay. you get. What, what that does is it nourishes your chakra system overnight. Yeah. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll do yeah. that tonight. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I feel like I need the nourishing. And I'm traveling around in an RV. I, I needed to let go of everything. And, you know, all these little setbacks and things come up. And it triggers something in me. And I need to just let it happen. And in my mind, yeah. I need to say... Because, you know, I, t I clench up and I get tense. So in my mind, I'm just saying, I'm going to, I, I need to create a mantra. Like I can relax through this. I can handle anything. Yeah, just it, get it, my mantra. If something triggers you, then it's you that's the problem and you need to sort it. Yeah. No matter what it is, if you get triggered by something, then you know you need to work on that part. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have you enjoyed it? Then? It's been different. Huh? I did. I did. Mm. Yes. Could I put a testimony on your page? 
Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Thank you for that. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, oh, you've learned different skills. We all learning. Everything's learning. Yes. But that part with the green stars and the triangle uh, with the seven okay. star, that was given to me by source on Sunday. I didn't know it before. It's not my knowledge. It was planted in my head. So when I woke up okay. and my eyes were closed, it was there. It was there for an hour. I didn't want to get up. <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks, Sam. See you then. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Have a beautiful day. Bye. And you. Bye. Bye. Bye.